Good morning, folks. It's 14 days after I harvested that beautiful Nyala bull. I did a field measurement there just to show, to give you guys a, a, an idea of how the process works. I ran out of light. I couldn't really do more in, in that environment. It wasn't very controlled. So what I've done is I've added another part to this video to show you, in addition to the field measurement, that the correct way of measuring those animals once they've had the 60-day curing period. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. You can hit this little red button down here in this corner and uh, it won't even click you away from the video. I am hoping to bring you a video every Thursday and possibly one every Tuesday. So please like, subscribe, hit the bell down at the bottom and uh, stick with us. Please folks, leave us a comment below and tell me what you want to see. If you want to see more measuring of horns, if you want to see more hunting, if you want to talk about equipment or anything like that, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not monetized. I'm just an outdoor guy having a really good time wanting to share my life experience with you. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. So we're going to measure this nyala, we're going to go down to the base of the horns and we're going to measure them on this, on this ridge that runs around um, the horn. So we're going to just carry on with that and uh, we measure spiral horns all the same way. They all measure exactly the same way and we follow up till we get to the end of the horn. So this tape has got quite a nice or this uh, steel cable has got quite a nice thing so what I've done is I've now locked this so we know that this is the length of the the uh, um, Dignales horns then it's very important many things like SEI Roland Ward they want you to measure with a steel tape so ensure that you've got a steel tape and then it's really why we use the cable is it's quite difficult sometimes to follow the um, the spiral of the horn and it's just easy, much easier with a cable. Obviously I'm doing everything myself so it is a little bit trickier but uh, we should have an idea of what this bull measures. And this bull on his right horn is 25 and a quarter inches. Let's just measure him on the left one. Um, if I look at him he looks very very similar not a giant bull um, if we look at the teeth still nice and young probably about three and a half years or so gonna be good eating that's for sure Okay, this horn is actually a little bit on the longer side, not much. So, you know, most people will say, oh, you always want the longer ones. Well, I suppose it's like fishermen. You know, the guys always want the biggest fish. They never tell you this about the small ones. So the same with hunting, we measure the longest horn. And uh, he's 25 and three quarters on the on the left horn so it shows you that he's probably a right horned animal a little bit more work on the on the right hand side and to measure the bases and uh, he's seven and seven eighths on the right horn eight and two eights on the left horn and he hasn't got a very great tip to tip he's actually hello folks it's a few days post my nyala hunt where i did the field measurement of the nyala and i thought i would just uh, do a quick tutorial on the actual measuring of a nyala bull and uh, what i have here is a nyala bull skull that i picked up in the bush 
obviously it's uh, been damaged by predators and scavengers but I just wanted to show you here on a skull that is dried out longer than 60 days the actual measurement so you will need a steel tape and uh, I like to use a steel cable this one is very nice it has a it has a steel stopper and you're able to adjust the steel stopper up and down it's easier to use the cable on the spiral horns because the spiral horns you have to follow this ridge line basically all the way up to the top and with a steel tape it's very difficult to follow those ridge lines also when we're measuring the nyalas and other spiral horns in fact pretty much just about any animal you want to start measuring where the horn gets hard so on an animal that's been freshly um, harvested you have a very soft fleshy part here which is called the boss um, and you don't want to start measuring there you want to start you want to start measuring from the hard part basically so what we will do is we are going to take the tape or the or the cable should I say we are going to take the cable and we are going to measure along the ridge of this horn it's much easier when you are two people that are working with us because then there is less room for error but uh, we will try and measure this as best as we can for you people at home so I have already measured this horn so the the stopper should be marked off in the in, in the right place and uh, we will just basically we're just going to double check ourselves that in fact it is right in fact it's a little bit out so what we're going to do is we're going to make a slight adjustment here I'm going to move that stopper up and then we are going to check so once we have done that then we will take our steel tape and we will measure on our steel tape the cable length it's easier to use the cable because the cable is able to follow the curves a little bit easier and we measure up to the uh, to the stopper and we have 25 and three quarter inches there on on the horns um, ideally you would want to measure the tip to tip so that's the distance between the tip of the horn and the other tip of the horn obviously it's not possible on this nyala because this uh, nyala has suffered a loss of a horn so we will now measure quickly i like to use the steel tape around the base i just find it's a lot easier um, for these purposes so we're going to measure around the thickest part of the base and we have six inches there conservatively uh, one of the ways that we judge the age of Inyalas or one of the things that we look for when we're looking at them in the field is we look at this the ivory tips if it's got very sharp very long ivory tips then it's a very young bull um, as the bull ages so these white tips start wearing down and they become blunter and, and sort of more stumpier then we know that that's an old bull looking after your horns you want to fumigate your horns if you pick them up out of the bush especially in South Africa we have this little moth it's called a horn moth and what it does is it lays eggs on, on the horn and you get these larvae that hatch and then they actually eat the keratin and they produce these little worms on the horn as they basically break down the keratin um, other things that you can do to make your horns look nice is you can seal them I usually like a matte sort of varnish works very well alternatively yeah, about once a year you can take things like horn oil or any other organic based oil and you can basically just oil up your horns to maintain them remember when measuring stuff you want the stuff to be 60 days dry out before you get the actual measurement they will shrink all horns shrink it's not excessive but they do shrink and it is something that you should take into consideration anyway please like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching the video thus far i hope to bring you more let me know if i can me uh, measure other animals for you as i say all the spiral horns are measured on this uh, ridge that runs all the way up the horn the 
Kudu, Eland, Bushbuck, Nyala are the main spiral horns in Africa that we, we measure like this. Other animals are measured differently, whether, depending on whether they're simple horns or they've got a pulp at the bottom or they've got a boss. They're different measures. This is the Roland Ward way of measuring stuff. Thank you for following our channel. Stick with us and we hope to bring you a lot more valuable content. Thank you.